In this video I'm going to look at placing an open channel in our design. So from my subsurface utilities components menu I'm going to launch the place conduit task. I've selected my feature definition and description so now I can pick the start and stop nodes. So that creates a graphic that we can see in the view of the 2D model here but in the view of the 3D model there's nothing created there yet. To get the 3D model of our open channel to appear, we need to do two things. Firstly, select the conduit in the 2D model and open its profile model. So we'll pop that in view three. And once the profile model has been created, we can close it because it's created this 3D element here that we can see in the view of the 3D model. If I then pick that channel and go to its properties. We can see here that there's a property for the trench. If we change that to yes, that's going to cause the template to be drawn in the 3D model, which represents the open channel as we can see. Finally, if I zoom in on the 2D model and select the graphic for the open channel, we can see in the hydraulic properties that the hydraulic properties are all set up there.